y'all crazy. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Sid. Me and my son are out here for a walk today. It's in the 50s. It's December 30th and it's in the 50s, like high 50s at that. So it feels really good. So we're out here exercising. Let's get into it. How's it going at the park? What are we guys just playing? I didn't see. How was it? Good. Yeah. Having so much fun. Do you know the guy's name yet? Um, I just only know Evie. Oh, yeah. Evie like the Pokemon Evie? No. <laughs> It's really, it feels really good out here today, huh? Yeah, with my Pokemon cards. With your Pokemon cards? <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> Why are you hanging like this? So let's get into today's video. Last night I was, um, I woke up several times. I had several dreams. I hadn't had a couple, I haven't had dreams in like a couple weeks because for months I was having like dreams every night and I would wake up and I would write them out or whatever. But I haven't had any um, these last couple weeks and that's kind of been nice because that means I've been kind of sleeping through the night. But last night I kind of woke up. I think I had like three dreams. Um, the one that I remember the most was the one where like the apartment that we live in now um, like caught on fire which is very strange but anyway um, so after I had that or before I had that dream I woke up and I had like this conversation with um, with God and I was journaling and I woke up this morning and I could vaguely remember what I wrote about <laughs> because it was so like chicken scratch. So I was trying to read back what I wrote cause I was kind of like half sleep, half awake. So I'm like, let me try to get this, um, write this out, what I'm hearing, what I'm feeling, all of this, right? So God was just like ministering to me. And then um, I turned on this song by Travis Green, Holy Only, oh my God. And it just took me in, it's like three o'clock in the morning and I'm just like slain in my bed, just laying down. <laughs> cause I usually, when he wakes me up sometimes, I'm like, Lord, come on, not right now cause I'm so tired. But I just felt like this like strong urge to sit up or like kind of sit halfway up and then start journaling. So that's what I did. And once he started, y'all, my hair is crazy because we just finished like exercising, trying to get a little, you know, workout in. Um, but I just felt like he had like so much to say, or not even so much. Like he just wanted to minister to me, like just to show me like what's to come, to build my faith because I kind of been like back and forth and feeling down about it. So, <laughs> so he kind of like pumped me up last night, which was really good. It felt good and then he gave me like these i want to say like specific instructions um to go to this certain place um around a certain time and today here i am and you know when god tells you to do something you're like okay god anything else you want to share like what are the details what else are you trying to get me to see or you know is this for me? Is this for somebody else? You know, he tried to like figure it out, figure it out. But I was just obedient. I'm going, I'm being obedient. I'll say that because right now I still don't know the outcome. Some, when, like I said, it's blind. It's a blind thing when you're following God. It's like, okay, God, you tell me, you tell me one part, but I don't really know what else, you know. I should have bought my stand with me too. Like this is, um, this is great. And then I keep like looking around, making sure my son is good too. So, you know, I'm trying to do like multiple things. Okay, let's try to get this. Okay, anyway. And so, like I said, I'm still just being obedient. Um, trying not to like cower 
in fear when he gives me like certain instructions because sometimes it's like okay i want to send you here to talk to somebody but i don't really know you know you don't i don't really know <laughs> but it's two more days into the new year and to say that i am excited for what's to come is an understatement like I don't really know what is to come, but I'm just excited about it. Like I just got super pumped up about whatever is about to happen. Like I don't even know what is about to happen, but I just feel so strongly in my spirit, like it's about to pop off. Like, and I keep saying that word because I'm just like it's gonna be like, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> it's just gonna be something that blows my mind that that sound effect was horrible so it's just gonna be something that literally blows my mind i just kept saying it's gonna be big it's gonna be big it's gonna be big and i was just talking about my house my car whatever whatever is about to take place i just keep confessing that it's gonna be big and i just keep thinking about um the miracle of mary and how she was able to conceive a baby through the Holy Spirit. Like, tell me that's not just big. That's that's just, that's massive. That's humongous. <laughs> but it's amazing. It's amazing what God does for you and how he, he comes through. And how he gives you glimpses. Oh. How he makes your baby leap how he shows you situations even just like this morning i was kind of on facebook and looking at other people's lives and um just kind of seeing what the lord is doing like i know in this season huh sure what do you want to say no, no oh stop josiah you almost exited I, what video why do you know i was taking a video do you want to say something oh of course, he's ready to stop. It's not that cold, so can I take? What's wrong? It's not that cold. Can I take my jacket off? Sure, sure, that's fine. So, it's, like I said, y'all, it's in the fifties today. So, you okay? It's like in the fifties today, so it's not that bad. So, I don't mind him taking his coat off. I just have to record and keep my eye on him at the same time. So, what's wrong? Um. Oh, but I was just looking on Facebook because I've been looking at people's lives and kind of seeing what. And you know, around Christmas time and like New Year, it's literally like it seems like the announcement for pregnancies and engagements are like super heightened. It's always like around that time, Thanksgiving and Christmas. But it, it just seems like everywhere I turn, it was like engagement, um, pregnancy announcement. And I was getting excited because I'm like, y'all my neighbors. <laughs> y'all my neighbors. Not even just for my like kingdom spouse or anything, but just thinking about like the blessings that are taking place in other people's lives. Like that's what I was thinking more towards and not more to not more about like um, marriage in general, even though I know that God has someone for me. And I'm super pumped about that in itself. Because he has already been like hyping me up about that. But that's another that's another topic for another day. I'll get into that when the time comes. <laughs> and so, um, all right, so I'm gonna get into it just a little bit because I'm just gonna say like how he, he sings over you when like, oh my gosh, my hair. He sings over you when something is about to take place. So that's basically what, is, what it's been like. He's been like singing over me and having these specific um specific love songs oh yes yeah, so we are back home i think i'm gonna sit in here um we're back home from the park and we like i was gonna record the whole time and like just talk and chat there but it didn't happen that way because josiah wanted me to help him on certain things and then um but it was his family. It was um, a dad and his three girls. Um, two of them were like preteens, or one teenager, one preteen, and then they had a younger sister. But they ended up being almost like, 
Like they took captive of the entire playground. Like every kid um, on the playground ended up playing with them. They kept going like over by where um, <clears throat> where their dad was. And then dad was like, okay guys, so what games are we playing? You know, we're gonna play freeze tag, hide and seek. So it was just a cool experience to watch. Like if I didn't show up at that time, at that, around that time, Josiah wouldn't have been a part of something that was so, it was just, it was so cool to see just kids. It's always nice to see kids come together so easy. It's so, it's so much easier or seemingly easier for kids to build relationships because they just have like this light. They just have this unapologetic way about themselves. Like, this is who I am. Take me as I am. And if you don't, who cares? Let's play together. And then we turn into adults and we overcomplicate things without just walking up to people and just saying hey or I mean it gets tougher I mean of course it comes with a, a lot more um details and you know you know what I, you know what I mean it takes discernment it takes all of that but as a kid it don't it don't take all of that and it was just so nice to watch I, I think that was I'm gonna say I think right now I'm still you know hindsight of 2020 but I believe that is why we were um, sent to that park at that time. Because literally, 3 o'clock in the morning as I was talking to God, he was like, go to M Park at three uh, by 12 o'clock. Not even lying. Like, And I was like, okay, God, so we're just going to do that. So I listened to his instruction. And I was able to um, record a little bit. <clears throat> and I was able to sit back and relax while Joe was able to interact with children because we kind of been like he's been on winter break so we've kind of just been hanging back it's been super cold outside so we were like no we're not gonna go outside I took him outside the day after Christmas and it felt like 18 degrees or something like that outside but today is like I said mid 50s so we spent about a good two hours we got there about 11 45 or so and we left like 1 45 so I let him have a good bit of time then I was starving so I was like listen Y'all just finished eating. Eating. <laughs> I swear my accent be coming through and I don't be wanting it to. I just finished eating. And I just had like a, um, like, what do you want to call it? Like a parfait. So I had Greek yogurt, which has no flavor. I had bought this. All right, side note. <laughs> I bought this Greek yogurt <clears throat> from the grocery store, but I was going to use it to cook some chicken with it because I saw this like, um, Indian recipe that I wanted to try and it required a plain Greek yogurt but this Greek yogurt was so thick so thick but I was like I'm gonna eat it I'm just gonna eat it I need some protein I need you know some fruits and berries so I ended up um so I usually put like a granola which has like almonds in it granola almonds raisins cinnamon honey and um blueberries I think I didn't say that but anyway so I ended up just sitting down eating that because I was so hungry I'm like there's no way I can wait to cook something to eat so we just got back in the house and I'm like I need to eat something quick like I need to put something on my stomach because all I had this morning was coffee <laughs> but anyway I am honestly in this season just trying to be obedient because <clears throat> we never really know where God is going to lead us, why he leads us in these, um, to these places or leads us to situations, lead us into different things. So I am trying my best to go with the least instructions that he gives. Cause God's like, go there. Why you'll find out when you get there. And I'm like, Lord, but I need just a little bit more. But whatever the reason today, it was nice. Just I got to see, like I said, one, he got to see a couple friends from his school. Or one little girl that he he noticed who he goes to school with. And it was just, it was just a beautiful day. Like, being able to sit out in the sun. The sun was beaming right on my forehead. But it was still nice. It felt really good. And we started off by walking, I think. Well, as you guys can see from my intro, we were walking at first. I was like, let's make... Because the park is pretty huge. <clears throat> so I think, according to my watch, one 
loop around is about a half a mile, which is not too bad. Um, a half a mile, so we just did that. So I probably still exercise a little bit today, but some real light, real slight, because I've been lifting all week and my body is crying, Abba Father. It is. But y'all, I'm gonna get off of here today. I thought y'all little of all. I'm tired. I thought I would bring you guys along while we went on the um for real though. <laughs> I thought I would bring you guys along while we went to the park this morning. Um and just bring you guys along. So I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, comment down below, interact, say hey to your girl. And I will catch you guys next video. Bye.